that his owner went for or <coughs> Oh, that was a thing. It's obnoxious. Uh, but anyway, we gonna get this day moving. I just gotta do my little eye drops. Eyes are a bit red. Um, so funny because I never really used eye drops until I got this insane infection um, a couple of years back. And the way I got the infection is just wild. Uh, Bobby bought me this uh, CBD bath bomb uh, from one of the vendors at the market I used to do in Inglewood. And it smelled delicious. So, you know, I was having a great bath or whatever. But then she started cooking with onions. Like, I love grilled onions. Like, I love onions. But I have developed somewhat of an allergy to them um, when they're being cooked. So I'm in the tub soaking and the house is fill up with onions. <laughs> so I go and do this. Take my hand out of the bath and do this. And oh my God, did it turn into the most insane eye infection. Like, to the point that one day, I had to take myself to the emergency room because my eyes were constantly swollen. Constantly swollen. And I'm like, oh my God, I probably won't be able to see it at some point. So I literally had to drive myself to the emergency room and oh God, why did I do that? Because I went to Cook County, you know, that's our, well, it's not free, but that's our county hospital. Um, and oh my God, I was there till four in the morning and I thought I was going to lose my mind. So by the time they finally came to uh, call my name to see me and I went in with the doctors, I was so tired. That I was just crying the whole time. Like, I don't know how they're going to examine my eyes. <laughs> because I'm so freaking tired. I don't know. And, um, you know, I just was, and I just kept telling them, I'm so tired. You know, they want to, like, you know, do this with my eye, do this with my eye, do that with my eye. I'm like, I'm just crying because I'm exhausted. I've been here for hours. I mean, thank God for places where people can go, you know, and get the help they need when they... I don't necessarily have the money, but I should have went somewhere else. But I did actually. I went to a, like an urgent care place, and they're the ones who said I should go to the emergency room. So I did try to do something alternative. Um, yeah, but I should have went to a different emergency room. <laughs> but it was the closest. I was like out west. It was the closest. I, although it was, I could have gone to like Rush or somewhere. But I'm just thinking, go to the county. I didn't think I was gonna be there for like a job shift. <laughs> Silly me. But anyway, um, oh, I haven't been using it as much, but this is that new lip balm I got. I'm going to start using it a bit more um, so I can really give a, an opinion on how it works. Um, but I, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, so I'm just going to like get a shower real, qu real quick. Oh, but these are the eye drops. I thought that long story about the eyes. Hopefully it'll show up. If not, I'll put, a, put it on the screen. Um, and I never really did eye drops before, but... Absolutely love these. And these are just hydration. These are not like red eye specific because they're like, as for some instances, those aren't even recommended. But I just use this basically for hydration. So I'm going to hydrate my eyes, let my body settle because I literally just physically got up probably about a half hour ago, get a shower, and then head out. So, done my breakfast or whatever. Haven't gotten in the shower yet because <laughs> I practically removed almost everything on my, well, except my photos. Granted, my photos take up three-fourths of my iPhone space and it hasn't uploaded to the cloud because I don't keep it plugged in at night, blah, blah, blah. And I don't, I'm not always on the wireless because this wireless here is in and out. <sighs> so, needless to say, I have been, since yesterday, well, yesterday I just finally stopped, but since this morning, um, I have been trying to download the latest vlog, <laughs> and it keeps telling me I don't have enough space, even though I literally have removed almost every single app on my phone, <laughs> and I've been going through, I've been deleting screenshots in my photos, and 
you know, deleting photos people sent me via text message. Really, my boy? He just hates it when I start talking, period. Especially, I guess, if I'm not talking to him. So he's huffing. But anyway, so I haven't gotten my shower yet. And it's already 9.30. I need to get out of here. I literally just made my matcha because I'm like, I'm ready to go. But I get, I guess I'm going showerless. Because I just need to go. I just need to go. Um, so I'm going to do the basics. Hit these teeth. The basics. You know the basics. You know the basics. Uh, because, yeah. It's once again for like the 20th time um, saying that it's downloading and then it'll get to like 99% and then say, can't do it. Cancel retry. <laughs> uh, and I hate complaining about InShot because I love all the features except for this. But I think my subscription is up in February and I may have to call it because I just, I can't. I just can't. Okay, finally leaving, over an hour later than I, uh, the last video that I recorded, but here we go. Um, yeah, don't want to be out long, uh, especially because I'm leaving so much later. Uh, Bub, I don't think she's going anywhere, but, let's see how much, oh, she filled the tank. Okay, cool, 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 even better. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to go to evergreen i'm gonna go to uh, hopefully i can find something at walmart Ooh, did i bring my phone <laughs> did i bring my phone yes you did <laughs> but yeah hopefully i can find something at walmart i just need some really simple 10 inch pot holders not even really planters because we're not taking them out of the plastic I just need something to slip them in. It's, um, the car is currently 64, but the weather is saying that it's 59. But it's definitely is, it definitely is a bit warm in the car today, so. But yeah, so I'm gonna get this going. Today will definitely not be as chatty a vlog, I guess, as, as yesterday. Speaking of which, that's another reason why I haven't left the house and it's almost 11 o'clock, because I'm still trying to get that video on it and shot. I'm just gonna have to suck it up and start using something else to edit my videos i guess now that i have my laptop that's a good thing so i have another option so i just need to start using my laptop uh to edit my videos although i just love the convenience of using my phone because i have all the clips i can just click you know uh, attach my dji to my phone and upload the clips but it's too much i've literally practically removed every app i have and i know it's my photos because my photos are like over i don't know 100 gigabyte <laughs> and I have 128 but it's telling me I have like 113 gigabytes um used so that means I got 15 gigabytes of space on my phone but it still won't do its thing so yeah I'm about to suck it up and start using my laptop and um some program on there but anyway I'm gonna hit this road hit this road it's so funny I just grabbed this out of storage a few weeks back never really looked at her or anything and then I put on this morning I'm like oh <laughs> it could probably use a little washing but whatever I don't care I'm just running out today uh, but it's cute it's like from forever 21 like seven years ago so I know there's a lot of conversation about fast fashion and there needs to be because there's a lot of ways but I'm the type even when I sh have shopped fast fast fashion I've always made sure that I got the pieces that I know that I would keep for a while you know that had some kind of like you know quality that they would last so i know i've had this for probably seven years or more uh from forever 21 and like this forever 21 even have any more stores like i don't even know it's been so long since i've even been to a forever 21 but i used to shop there and i used to always make sure that i got the pieces that were not just so trendy but that i could just you know wear for years
this truck in front of me has so much junk in it. Like I always am very hesitant to drive behind vehicles like that. Like what the what the? It's just so much random stuff. But I know a lot of people make a lot of money from random stuff. But I mean, it does not look stable. So I'll definitely not be behind him once we make this turn. <laughs> My initial plan is to come and go to Walmart, but there's a Ross over here, and sometimes they have hot purple. So I'm gonna run in there real quick, check them out first, see if they might have something. Oh, there's Menards. I always forget about this Menards. Like I'm the person I rarely ever shop at Menards. I always forget about it. Um, I think I've only been in there twice in my life. Um, but I might check on the nerds too. I just need, you know, some very simple pots. So, I'm not going to go since we're here. So, this kind of debating should I go to Menards or Ross first? But Ross is obviously much smaller. So, I'll run in there first. Oh, there's Michael's as well here. Um. Yeah. But right, let's hit up Ross first. Maybe we'll get lucky. I know there have been times when I've gone into Ross and got like the perfect thing, of course, at a really good price. So we're in expectation today for getting what we need with ease. Had to come back out because I left my phone on the seat in the car. <laughs> hey. Tired. Tired, tired, tired. What grief. Alright, so let's try this again. but it's like look at this parking lot you see all those faces <laughs> I mean I literally parked kind of like where nobody really was and like there was a lot of space and they parked right next to me it is such a pet peeve I know it's insane like that it's a pet peeve but it is it's like all these spots why and then nine times out of ten, they make it harder for you to get into your own vehicle. That's another reason why I think it's so annoying. It's like all these spots. Why? <laughs> I... Okay, the minute I pulled up over here, I was like, "Ooh, why did you come here this late on a Friday, <laughs> my lord?" And I was like, "Oh my god, my spot, my spot. I might not even have a spot in my spot. I found a spot in my spot right in the very corner." But yeah, I'm like, what were you thinking? coming here midday on a Friday it is pretty full in the main lot alternate lot not so bad but definitely more people than I prefer let's put it that way but here we go okay so the store is big enough that it's not insanely crowded inside so that's a positive well, let's go look for what we came here for first, and then maybe, maybe, we'll look for some other things, or just look at some other things. Although I do love pajamas. I mean, I buy probably more pajamas at Walmart than anything. 
Because I always, I just love, oh, and I need a robe. These last few days have definitely been a sign that I need a nice, thick, plush robe. Okay, I just wanted to put my headphones on in case my phone rang or something. But yeah, as you can see, they don't have anything over there in the outdoor section. Ugh, I might end up having to go to Home Depot as well. But I'm going to check Target. It's down the street. So is Home Depot down the street. So let me check a little further down to see perhaps they might have it in another area this just reminds me that I bought about that a while ago and I have not opened it probably should open it and make sure it works you know what I'm yeah probably should it's in my storage and um, this has happened to me before I bought something didn't open it forever then it's either missing something or it's the wrong color yeah so I probably should open that soon Oh, but I think I was going to start talking about the guy that I follow on IG who has like the extreme Walmart clearance kind of group thing. Like he's made a whole business out of like finding the deals, you know, and he has a group where he like shares the deals and he gets a lot of uh, insane deals. It's kind of impressive. But yeah, I don't think, I don't think it's going to happen here. So I'm not going to spend too much time. I'm going to check out Home Depot because I hit that before I hit Target as far as driving goes. I own this table. It's one of the ones I use for my shop and my pop-ups. Pretty good quality. Nice size because I already had the big one. I had like the six-footer. It's kind of nice to have that four-foot. But you know what I'm going to do before I leave? I'm going to check, see if they have any of my food here. Because they do sell some of my um, frozen brands here. So we'll check for that. certain processed foods <laughs> you try to get them for the best price you can but I guess that's the life of any shopper but uh, obviously folks who aren't vegan have way more options than we do but alright we're here I'm gonna go straight in the garden center over there I don't know if you guys can see anything because I don't look at the phone when I'm driving and holding it but yeah we're gonna write it go right up in the garden center hopefully they have something um, that will fit the parts I did some kind of parking y'all some kind of parking. <laughs> Let's lock the car. There we go. Alright. Such a beautiful day though. 
So grateful. <sighs> so grateful. But they always have these cute little, while we're here, at this particular location, they always have these cute little, I was trying to get the key shut. These cute little sheds. That little gray one could probably make like a cute little like crab studio or just like a little small business studio if you had like a nice yard. Even this gray one right here, this is a nice size as well. Love those. That one's like what, 6,500? Hmm. But of course here in Chicago, you gotta insulate it and do all the things to make it livable. But all right, let's get in here. So we'll check out here. Looks like that's where they have the majority. Oh yeah, this is where they have them. So if they have them, it'll be over here. Okay, I think I'm going with this one. Let me turn my phone around. Let me turn the camera around. It'll make life easier. Uh, I think I'm going with this one, but I still just want to see what else they have. But I just wanted something simple like this. But let's see what else they have. I'm glad they had the garden center uh, attendant there so I could check out there. It's not always the case at all locations all year round, so yay. Now, um, oh, Amazon Fresh is across the street, so we'll run in there. I just remembered that uh, before I go in there, I need to load my app. Because... <laughs> Um, I pay with my Amazon account, so I'm going to grab one of the carts where you can just roll through and walk out. So I get to put the Amazon app back on my phone because it was one of the apps that I took off trying to get that video to download. Okay, dokie. So they definitely have my cheese for like practically two dollars cheaper. It's kind of annoying because it's you know all Whole Foods, but one is made under the Amazon Fresh brand and the other one is made under 365. So here is on sale for 179, regular price 199, and 
and currently is it 379 at certain stores it, the price is just all over the place kind of depending on where you go but I picked up a few just because um, this is my last uh, weekend here I was supposed to be here for two weeks I'm gonna be here a little bit over two weeks unfortunately uh, because of the unfortunate passing of my aunt I need to use the truck tomorrow to get the plants to the funeral so that's why uh, originally I was gonna leave today but what I was saying is that I won't have access to the truck to come all the way out here so that's why I picked up a few packs to have but I think that's it I think that's it now I'm gonna head back to the house But, oop, why did I lock the door? <laughs> Beautiful day here in Chicago, here at this little strip mall. Lots of stores here, Shake Shack, Target, Joel, Home Depot, of course, Panera Bread, Naf Naf. We love Naf Naf. We like to go and get the falafel there. It's pretty tasty. I'm trying to get my DJI to turn. Pretty tasty. But yeah, so we like Naf Naf. Never been into Tropical Smoothie Cafe, but it's here as well. But that's how it works at um, Amazon Fresh. If you're going to use the Amazon app to shop and use that special cart, you literally just fill up your bags. It scans it as you put them in the bags and it charges you as you leave. So that's right up my alley. Be able to just do my thing and walk out. They actually have, still have Amazon Go stores here in Chicago. We might check one out one day. There's a couple downtown and I forgot where the other ones are, but yeah. We definitely might check them out one of these days on the, the vlog. I uh, was looking up, I came across the Amazon bookstore in my uh, phone while I was trying to delete photos, trying to make space. And I was forgot all about Amazon Bookstore. This was like a video I took from 2017, but I guess I closed them in like maybe early 2021, 20, 22. Uh, but yeah, they used to have whole bookstores and everything. And they also had a store called Amazon Style. I found that out today as well, but they only had a couple of those and they didn't last long. But the Amazon Go stores and Fresh um, are still going. There's not as many Fresh stores. Um, or ghost stores here in America. I'm not sure about other countries. But yeah, like I said, there's a couple downtown that we might check out. And I didn't follow my own rule. I didn't go to the bathroom. <laughs> not at any of the stores that I went in. So, I didn't use the bathroom. But we can head it to the house. But her heart will be open, will be open. She'll be there. Her heart will be open. so interesting to me when people live next across from or in very near cemeteries I don't know I don't know I don't know how I feel like it would I do it would I do it I don't know would you I don't know it just makes me feel some type of way reset it every time I turn it on like you know flip it around or recenter it so I've just been keeping it on but good thing I brought my 
power with me so I could charge it up because it is definitely almost out of juice. This is where we were last week when we brought Shane out um, here at the Forest Preserves. It is uh, huge. I mean, it's acres and acres. We were only in a very small part of it. Uh, I was trying to get Bubba to come out again, but it's kind of hard for her, I guess. You know, she has like a really crazy work schedule, that overnight thing. I don't know how she does it, but she does. Um, but so it makes it kind of hard to do things during the day. But I definitely want to explore this particular one a little bit more. Like I've been saying this for years, so, but, so it's kind of nice to get out that day, but it's huge and of course I haven't been driving that much lately so ugh. <laughs> I forgot how people love to run the light you know like a lot <laughs> a lot of things that I forget because I've just been sitting on the bus or sitting on the train lately but uh yeah ain't much changed y'all much changed. Welcome back to the vlog. Today is Sunday the 20th. Um, it is the day that um, I leave and go back to my friend Allison's house. Um, truly grateful to Bob for allowing me to stay these last couple of weeks. It's great to be able to spend so much time with my shadow, who's over my shoulder at the moment. Um, and I'm equally grateful, um, especially to Allison, for opening her home to me. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely going to miss my shadow. And i um, going to miss the Peloton as well. I didn't get to use it nearly as much as I wanted to. Um, yeah. But... But bought me shoes, uh, my own shoes, so that I can use it like when I come visit and all that. Um, let's see what else, what else, what else. Yesterday was my aunt's funeral. Um, I literally didn't record anything yesterday. Yeah, I think I, I just I took like one picture. Um, of my mom, my mom is amazing. She, uh, my mom is a minister, and so. Unfortunately, when these things kind of happen, my mom is kind of like uh, activated in a sense. 
so she uh, helped put like the obituary and everything together. My mom, these are all pictures my mom had, like all the pictures that my mom had um, from when they were younger. This is my aunt and my uncle Lee, her husband. He was great, he called me Ricket. Uh, but so my mom is always kind of like in charge of those kind of things. So she always does a great job. And she says she's always nervous though, but it's interesting that she's nervous. And it was kind of nice because her pastor, her apostle, apostle came um, and assisted. And he has an amazing voice. I haven't been to my mom's church in so long because I'm not really like a, a church goer. But he had an amazing voice and it was, it was, it was a lovely celebration as sad as it is. And my little sister surprised my dad and came from Texas. Um, <clears throat> I think that made my dad happy. But yeah, so that was yesterday. Um, yeah, I have a lot of packing up to do. I actually <laughs> uh, didn't technically unpack. I just kind of like left my stuff over like in the corner. Um, kind of regretting that now because it's going to be harder to get everything together and it was harder to keep constantly pulling stuff out pulling it out but whatever whatever I felt like it was two weeks but now I'm wishing that I would have just put myself in the drawers there's plenty of drawers in that room that I could have just put my things in but yeah that's that um but yeah headed back to Allison's and then which I'm looking forward to because I kind of miss um, transit. <laughs> As I was driving yesterday, I was like, oh my God, I'm so over it. <laughs> and I know people who take transit probably think that's the craziest thing ever to be like, I miss being on the bus. But on the bus, I could just sit, listen to a movie or a book or whatever, and just chill in a sense, you know, because I had my headphones on. Um, but driving, ooh, not so fun. Um, yeah. And um, it was nice uh, being on that side of town to kind of like re-explore. Because I used to live on that side of town. I used to live in Humble Park. I used to live in Logan Square. Um, I used to live in Ukrainian Village. Like I used to live on that side of town, literally. And I hadn't been in quite a while as far as just like going around and walking around and just being in the neighborhood so i will definitely be out there streaming again and i'll definitely be able to hear streaming again as well um because i miss that as well i love being in high park i love going to the university of chicago area i love it over there uh speaking of streaming if you haven't already follow my streaming platform it's city walking girl i mainly live stream on tiktok but i am going to start adding more videos of me just walking and streaming here on here on YouTube, I'm gonna add those. I'm not really sure if I'll stream on YouTube because um, I've done it before. It's fine, but it's, you know. I prefer YouTube to be where I have like my longer form content. But yeah, I'm gonna finish this tea. Just wanted to check in um, before I get this day going, packing up and all that. I'm so hungry. <laughs> this is probably gonna be gone in a few minutes. Anyway, I am downtown. I had to come and pick up Amazon order. And I'm so hungry, so I stopped in to Nav Nav. Oh, look at this. Oh, oh, absolutely amazing. Just amazing. <laughs> 